I always worked until I had something done and I always stopped when I knew what was going to happen next. Morning guys, so I am just making my lunch for later. So what I love about Hemingway's decision to give himself a gift for tomorrow is that he's counteracting this experience we know nowadays because we live in this culture of incompletion and you know every task seems to bleed into another, deadlines are always self-replicating and the sort of idea of a full stop it's something we've lost sight of. The full stop is flirting with extinction, if you like. Now we're caught nowadays in this infinite loop. Scroll, create, post, repeat. And there's this sense of never, of, of never ending this. You're always within the river. You're always within the stream. You're never getting onto the banks and just watching it go by. And the thing is, you need to be within the noticing in life. That's what I love about Hemingway is that he's never rejecting life. He's always out listening to conversations, speaking with people, trying to improve his craft, enjoying a drink, enjoying the rain, looking at things, trying to simplify. So I come down to the studio and one of the things that I was hoping to do was to find my lyrics and to rehearse a little bit before tomorrow's studio recording because I've got a vocal song, I'm gonna fight for you. I've done something rather stupid because I've managed to throw out the lyrics. I'm such an idiot, I can't believe. I can't have thrown them out, surely. They've gotta be somewhere, they can't just not exist. Come on, come on, come on. Oh. Wrote the lyrics last week, one of the first times that I've actually felt like I've got ahead on a session, but rather than being clever like Hemingway, leaving the work, then coming back to it the next day, I've managed to chuck it out because I'm always in five places at the same time. Now I'm going into deep work and I'm gonna hope and trust the inspiration of the gods will come and we'll get some lyrics written. All right, see you in a bit. One of my experiences on this album since starting at the beginning of the year has been to learn to trust again in the nature of time, to forget this fanciful notion that you have to do it all at once or this demonic crazy idea that everything has to be good. So we're going over and over and over to the end. This We're, we're emptying ourselves beyond the point of exhaustion. And part of this, I think, is with this social media world where you have this endless saturation of content. There is never the potential for the job to be done. It's always self-replicating. Something that novelists does is that they know that they're within a long process. They're thinking long term. They know that they can't write this damn thing in a day. Getting out of this, rejecting this short termism, the whole world is now constructed around this short-term viewpoint, this excitement, this need for the rush. Something that has helped me so much this year is to say, right, I'm giving myself a whole year. That is going to be my frame. That is my time frame. I'm going to sit within whatever comes up within that time. And I'm just going to go, I'm going to chip over and over and over. And out of that process, little wonderful things start happening. Good morning, another studio vlog. I am desperately going down to try and write the lyrics that I managed to throw out yesterday or the day before and get them written before I arrive in a session. The song is called A Fight For You Baby. Something that I take from Emmyway is that he has these small pointers, knowing that he would leave some inspiration for the next day so that he had a pickup point the next day. Knowing that if he felt stuck, that he could get to this sense of honesty. Okay, what's the basic building block of what my creative life is? And that was the true, honest sentence. That was the trigger that could always help him go forward. And I think that's part of our challenge within the creative arts is to learn the keys, to not rely on this mythical thing of inspiration, but to learn what are these little unlocks, these little picks that we can use, that we can trust upon in any one circumstance on any given day. So today, Hi, Martin yeah. Scorsese has entered the studio and we're going to be, the main job is trying to put off 
the musician as much as possible for the next hour. So we've got my great friend Jonathan Kluth there, and he's putting the sense on, give into the feeling, chipping away at these songs. He's getting some brilliant signs. He just knows the prophet so well. He's a, just one of the most gifted people I know. It's a, what a pleasure to work with. Just people of such talent and fun. There's great energy, there's great feeling, sound. In terms of the energy, we know what it's like when you're out in the ocean and you're just waiting for the waves to come in and at some stage something starts happening. You just, you can take that breath and I feel a bit frazzled, but I feel like I'm being carried. It doesn't work. I was sending Yona into space. All reverb, no signal. Let's see what happens. Because dreams are all we have. <laughs> <laughs> Got it! It's a really good day. Absolute joy to have you in the studio. I made really good progress. A couple of songs. Wanted to get in and do vocals, but I didn't get there. The lyrics, I've written tons and tons and tons of lyrics, but they just, this song that I was meant to be doing, I'm going to fight for you, baby. It just wants to be dumb, it wants to be simple, and it wants to be fun. And the thing is, doing dumb, simple, and fun is the hardest possible thing. So I've got lots of lyrics, none of them work. I've got to go back to the drawing board and take it from there. So anyway, step by step, good day. Didn't get to where I wanted to, but it was still progress forward. What else can you hope for? Much love, everyone. So guys, in terms of giving oneself a gift, that's what I've really been trying to do over and over this year with this project. And it's like, oh, it's so slow forward. And I appreciate you being with me. But this is a really great moment because I have the, I hope, final mix for Be My Witch. So it's recorded. It's gone to Yoda, who's mixing it. And I'm going to have a listen. Come on, man. This is the one. This is the one. All right, let's get the volume up. Give you guys a little glimpse of how it sounds. Little peek rooney from you but I don't know how it's only ever you through the crowd tell me babe tell me what am I to do I see myself and you through the reach out Guys, a final couple of notes on how to give yourself a gift for tomorrow. A couple of practical steps here. So one, make a clear, full stop at the end of each day. And you can leave yourself a note so that you know how to go on tomorrow, but then leave it behind. Secondly, you can create a ritual for how you leave work behind. So at the end of the day, you can clear your desk, take the trash out, not find your lyrics, but make it a ritual. That's my stop, that is my literal full stop. Just a little something that says to your mind, I'm stopping working now. So thirdly, step away from this notion that more hours means more productivity. So remember, holding energy back is not a sign of weakness. Rather, it's a strategy for sustainability, for saying, I'm in for the long term, I'm here to stay, I'm gonna keep going. Keep inspired, keep on. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe if you would, and thank you. Big love, everyone.